Hey, this is Math Minutes Pro with Dr. Harrison. Today we're going to solve a couple of problems involving uh, probability. Now probability uh, is, we're going to look at this uh, formula. Uh, usually probability means the chance or the likelihood of something occurring. So the formula says probability equals the events that occur, that's in the numerator, over the total possible outcomes, that's in the denominator. We can usually express a probability as either a ratio or a fraction or a percent. So let's go ahead and start with this particular word problem here. Let me go ahead and get it up there. And uh, it says a standard number cube is rolled. What is the probability? That's the word we're looking for here. That's our key word. What is the probability, right, of rolling a number that is less, less than or equal to four? Okay. So when you think about that, you think of the numbers that are less than or equal to four on a number cube. We're talking about either four, three, two, or one on a number cube. So let's see how we can solve this problem using the formula that's provided. So we're going to represent the uh, formula as the probability of, it says, rolling a number, right, that is uh, less than or equal to 4. So I'm going to make that a little bit, there you go. And I think I'll make that P a little bigger so it doesn't look like uh, something funny. So we want to know what is the probability of rolling a number on a number cube that is less than or equal to 4. Now, so when we think about that, what are the events? What, or how many events can, can, uh, can satisfy this condition? Well, we have 4, 3, 2, and 1. So that's four numbers that can be rolled out of total possible outcome 6. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on a number cube. Okay? So this is good. Now, sometimes you may have to reduce the fraction, and we can go ahead and do that. If we divide both uh, the numerator and denominator by 2, right, then we're going to get a final answer, the probability that is equal to 2 over 3. All right? So what that means is the probability of rolling a number less than or equal to 4 is 2 over 3. Okay? Or, we can say, or uh, 66%. I'll round it. All right, either one, if you want to express it as a uh, fraction or a percent. All right? And we could also uh, represent that as a decimal as well, but we'll go ahead and stop with this problem. Okay, so... Let's see if we can solve another problem, probability problem. Let me go ahead and clear this board here and uh, get another problem up there. There we go. This time we're going to be dealing with uh, marbles. All right, so it says uh, a bag contains eight red marbles. I'm just going to under, underline key information. Seven blue marbles, okay, and five white marbles. Which expression can be used to find the probability of randomly selecting a, what, a white marble and then a red marble from a bag? Watch this without replacement. So notice we have four different expressions in this multiple choice problem, but only one is correct. So let's go ahead and write this problem 
as a probability. They said, what is the probability of selecting a white marble? And then it says, then the red. Okay. That's what we're talking about. What is the probability of, of, of that happening? Now, the way we can set that up is we can break this apart. So what we really want to know is what is the probability of selecting a white marble, right? And then a, uh, the probability of selecting a red marble, and remember, it's without replacement, okay? So we go ahead and substitute that. Let's write the uh, ratio for the probability of selecting a white marble. So it tells us we have five marbles, right? So that's going to be five in the numerator. And how many in the denominator? That's total possible outcomes. Eight plus seven, that is 15 plus five is 20. So that's a five out of 20. So if we select one, that's the probability, right? And then and, we're going to, that's going to, we're going to multiply that when it says then, all right? And now for selecting um, a white marble, we have, uh-oh, let's see, for, excuse me, for red marble, rather, we have eight red, but it's not 20 there anymore, it's 19, because we took one marble out the white one, okay? So that is our answer. Let's see if we can find that in the expression there. Looks like there it is, 5 over 20 times 8 over 19. That's it right there. This is the expression, and we're just going to stop short of recording the expression for finding the probability of selecting, what did it say? Uh, a white marble and then a red marble without replacement. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, math is life and life is math.